what should we call it? Therapy. On Christmas morning, many of us open gifts of all sizes and shapes. But David Beckham's was probably the most unexpected. The Beckhams observed the holiday outdoors in their newly constructed chicken coop, which houses David's gifts, rather than inside their Cotswolds country home. David, what did you receive for Christmas? Victoria inquires. As Victoria refers to them, the answer was not just one, but several hens, or rather, Beckham chickens, as Victoria calls them, who are already used to their coop. The Cotswolds Hills, located in southwest England, is the perfect environment for keeping chickens. But with the right advice, it's more than possible to follow this age-old practice, dating back between 7,000 to 10,000 years, in our own backyard. The white fence that surrounds the wooden coop that David and Victoria selected keeps the animals safe. But we can also construct a brick substitute. After building a coop, expert Fred Miller the founder of Chickens Eat recommends providing comfortable nesting boxes for our hens. These ought to be dry, clean, and lined with wood shavings or straw. Make sure there is one nesting box for every three to four hens, he says. We should also create strong roosting bars so that our chickens have somewhere to sit at night. These ought to be positioned higher than the nesting boxes and made to accommodate them comfortably without being too close together. Long-term success with a chicken coop also depends on lighting, hygiene, and security. Adequate lighting is essential for egg production. Make sure there is ample natural light in your coop during the day. It's my preference not to use artificial light, so try to avoid it, Fred explains. Fred says that in order to prevent disease and pests, it is important to routinely remove droppings, use bedding, and old nesting materials. We should also replace bedding as needed and clean water and feed containers regularly. In terms of security, lock your coop securely at night to protect your chickens from nocturnal predators like raccoons and owls. Ensure that the locks are childproof, as some raccoons are pretty cunning, Fred explains. I use an automatic door that I set up to open and close at predetermined times. It's not too difficult to teach chickens to come in by themselves at night. This guarantees their safety in the event that you fail to lock them up. We can follow David's yet another example and refer to this guide on raising chickens for more advice. It can be found below on Amazon.com.